Welcome back to Subscriber Dynasty. We don't have a game this week because it's the conference championship week and somebody that makes a hell of a lot of money on the Big 12 committee decided that it's a good idea not to have a conference championship game because it's cool to have like ties and stuff from championships. Just doesn't, doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's take a look at the recruiting. Now, a couple of guys here, Mr. Bob Williams and Aaron Cameron. Um, I've been fighting for these guys all year long. And if I can get to the right tab here, top schools. Um, there's no users in there. Or A&M was a user, but he had to leave. Um, they're both five-star guys. Like I said, I've been fighting for them all year. Uh, pretty good. I can, you know, 80s overall as freshman for an outside linebacker and a defensive tackle. You know, I'm 160 back for this guy, and I'm leading on him, but... Texas has a way of sneaking up on me. Between Texas and OU, they stole a lot of people from me over the past few years, even though I was leading on them. So when it comes time to dump points in the offseason, I'm probably going to dump a bunch of points into these two guys. Um, looking at their stats, they're pretty good. I mean, he's a normal normal linebacker. Great, you know, he's got some really good tackling. It's almost a 90 already as a freshman. Pursuit, hit power, play recognition, blocks rating 83. Pretty good. Pretty good zone coverage, too. It's not bad. Defensive tackle, man, he's well-rounded too. Good tackling and yeah, decent tackling. You know, I got some defensive tackles leaving, so I'm going to need him here. Now, Derek Utley and some of these guys. I mean, there's kind of just – I was number one on their board, so I picked them up just because I could and it wasn't really any effort, and I was going for a lot of other people. But he's not bad. Not that I need any running backs because I have a bunch, but I can uh, – I don't even know why I picked him up. Maybe because his juke move is 89. I don't know. Lucidness, 80. His speed is not all that great. I may convert him to something else. I don't even know how tall he is. Six foot. Yeah. Let me convert him to a wide receiver and have him sit for two years or something. Because I do weird stuff like that when it comes to the players. Um, Prince Ball, just an athlete. Looks like, let me see, not a secondary. He might be a running back too. Man. Yeah. I can redshirt him and have him be a quarterback because his throwing abilities are not too, too bad. But I like having athletes. It's fun to try to put them somewhere anyway. Travis Hollis. He, let me see. I don't know. Maybe a secondary route running. Could be a receiver. I don't know how tall he is. Um, let's look. He is 5'10". Maybe not. Like I said, it was, easy, it was easy to get him. So I might as well put him on there because... I don't know. Chef steals all my quotes. If they're on my team, they're not on your team. He doesn't fit. I can cut him, and they're just deleted forever. It's not like you cut him, and then it's like, oh man, I got cut from Oklahoma. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go to West Virginia then. If you know Oklahoma State doesn't want me, it doesn't work like that. I don't think anyway. Um, Jason Smith. He's another guy. He's got pretty good speed. Not a coverage person. Could be. He's got 93 return, but I don't even know. I don't know how that even factors in about what what makes a good return person. Because, wow, I forgot my return man's name. He's not even the best returner on my team as far as the return stat. But he's the guy that I want there. I don't even know what he is. Maybe, uh, let me see, his catching's not all that good. Oh, is he going to be a tight end? Is that why I picked him up? Six foot, maybe not. I got a tight end anyway. Will Washington. This guy, his speed's not good, so he might have been... Um, it doesn't show blocking on here for some reason. But his, where's his strength? I'm looking for it. Strength, 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 strength. Is it not on here? There it is, 72. So low speed, high strength, maybe like a, an offensive line, maybe like a center. Because he's got high acceleration. A lot of time guards have good accelerations but low speed. He's not a running back. He's not a quarterback. Catching's not all that good. Maybe he's a tight end. He's just a short one. He's a short little tight end guy. But he's got good tackle and pursuit, so I don't know. Whatever. I mean, we'll find a place for him. Dennis Leach. I love secondary. I pick up, pick him up as much as I can. I'm, this guy's going to sit, though, because I got some other guys. Melvin. Uh, he's got great speed. He was uh, a gem that I found. Play recognition is 80. His hit power is not bad. Man coverage 81, zone coverage 83. Now, that's something we can work with as far as the secondary is concerned. Um, picked up a tight end. I think this guy's tall. Let's look. Yeah, 6'7 and 6'6. Six, six. So I picked up two tight ends. They're not bad. Um, but his catching's decent. He's got decent speed. 
but he's a big, big tight end. I needed some guys. I really didn't have a tight end. I mean, I got tight ends, but I ain't got like, hey, this guy's a really good tight end. And this guy's about the same. Kevin Adams, I don't even know why I picked him up. I just got a bunch of random people this time around. Um, decent speed. Good juke move. Maybe another running back. Oh, yeah. Well, it says running back. Great job. Um, Larry. Just a... <laughs> Larry. Larry the wide receiver. Got great speed. He might be tall as well. 6'4". Yeah, I like my tall receivers. And then 75 for an outside linebacker. Hey, great, great. Uh, he's got good tackling and um, decent block shredding. But that was before. Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to get the other outside linebacker guy, so I got him. But uh, Billy Handy. It's a funny name. We talked about him before. Man coverage, zone coverage, press. Good speed. He's going to be a good secondary guy for me. Uh, 79 tackle, 74 tackle, another 79 cornerback. Good man coverage, zone coverage, and then Greg Hudson. Of course, you've seen some of the bottom three in the earlier one. But uh, I only needed, like, I don't even know what I needed this year. I, click right, I know one's a defensive tackle. Um, I, think it was, I think it was just all defensive stuff. Yeah, it was a defensive tackle and maybe a linebacker or something. I don't know. But, you know, it was just like a couple of people. And so I had all this, you know, space to fill with just whoever I could find. So. It's not the best recruiting class in the world. But, I mean, we got some good key, key players at some key positions. Like this, these two guys here are going to help. This 79 tackle is fantastic because it's really hard to find really good linemen. Um, it's hard to recruit them anyway because there's not a whole bunch of them. Um, this guy's not too bad. I don't know if he'll play, but he might sit. This guy was a good find for me. Um, the rest of these guys are just, eh, take them or leave them. But if I can get these two guys, Mr. Williams and Mr. Cameron here, that'll really help out the defense for a good defensive tackle, another good linebacker, along with the good secondary that we have. That'll help everything out to kind of balance out our team. Not a whole lot of stuff on the offensive end. I mean, yeah, we got a receiver or whatever, but we got most of the receivers coming back. We have a butt ton of running backs that we don't hardly even use anyway um and then our quarterback's a sophomore so i mean we don't really don't need a whole lot of offensive players what else can i show you guys to make a video top class i think chef showed this last video but we're fourth we might climb up and beat him if we can get those other two guys because let's look and see who's got the most texas a has got three and i have one so that'll put me at three as well because both the other guys are both five star people we could sneak up there and um, up on him, but that doesn't really matter. I don't care about having the number one recruiting class. But I, I seen his video with the recruiting class. He did a good job, boy. It's a stacked up class. Not much going on for me this week. Um, if everything pans out, it might be a sugar bowl with Little Chef and myself playing, which that'll be fun because I always enjoy playing him. We get together and joke around, have a good time and play. I mean, it's super competitive, but it's fun. But um, I just want to thank everybody for the support. You know, we've been doing this. I, or I guess putting up the subscriber dynasty stuff for almost a year now. And uh, it's been really fun. A lot of support. The videos are doing better than ever. And uh, it's really fun. The more people that comment and get involved in everything, it makes it funner. Funner? Yeah, because that's a word. It makes it more fun uh, to record the videos. I try to respond to everybody's comments and stuff on there. Because, you know, I enjoy talking to you guys, so... If you say something, see something in the videos you like, don't like, whatever, drop me a line, comment on the videos, I'll holler at you. I appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you at the next game.